Thank you, Madam President, Madam Commissioner, dear colleagues, I stay here and put the question on behalf of the Regi Committee because of uh, the real interest between the members of Regi Committee on the implementation of these uh, extraordinary special measures which had been taken uh, because of the proposal of the European Commission adopted on 17th of July 2015, a legislative proposal to amend the Common Provision Regulation in respect of specific measures for further financial assistance to Greece. This was a very strong reaction after the Greece uh, crisis, and we at that time believed together with the Commission that we can support Greece in the efforts of the country to uh, go out from the crisis and uh, succeed in the efforts to uh, complete uh, and implement the successful projects. The goal of this proposal was twofold, to provide additional pre-financing for 2014-2020 cohesion policy operational programs under the Investment for Growth and Jobs Goal and for programs financed from the European Maritime and Fisheries Fund in Greece. And secondly, to allow for the ceiling for the cumulative total of pre-financing and interim payments to be 100% and to increase the co-financing rate for 2007-2013 operational programs for the for convergence and regional competitiveness and employment objectives in Greece to 100%. In the European Parliament, the decision was taken to deal with this revision on CPR under the simplified procedure. It was the decision of Regi Committee. So we adopted this proposal as quickly as possible in order to allow a greater stimulus effect to make sure that the Greek authorities could make full use of European Union funding available for the cohesion policy under the previous financial period. Regi Committee appointed Standing Rapporteur to follow the implementation of the new regulation. Later on, he will take the floor here in the debates. But on several occasions, including during a joint hearing organized by the Committee on Regional Development and the Committee on Budgetary Control on the implementation of the Priority Projects List Initiative in Greece on 4th of December 2017, members of the Parliament expressed their regrets about the almost absence of communication between the Commission and the Parliament on the implementation and performance of these CPR amendments. The lack of reporting information meant available by the Commission and the Greek authorities on the result of the special measures adopted for Greece should be emphasized. More specifically, there has been no reporting on the real effects on the application of the maximum co-financing rate on 100% to the eligible expenditure of Greek operational programs for the growth and regional competitiveness and employment objectives. In this respect, the first part of our question will be what conclusions does the Commission draw from the report provided by the Greek authorities in May 2017 on the implementation of the specific measures in Greece? And further on, how this mechanism, which is uh, an extraordinary mechanism, uh, has helped for the progress in the priority projects in Greece in their implementation and progress of these 181 priority projects. And on how infrastructure investments and European Union structural and investment funds have contributed to the improvement of overall competitiveness of Greece. It is very important to uh, implement today this discussion to hear the answer of the Commission, because we made this together to support Greece in the efforts of the country. And now we are very interested to see how our measures had been implemented in the reality in Greece and what are the results after these extraordinary measures. Thank you.